Let's talk downswing, okay? And this is for good reason. We just need a simple guide, don't we? Of how we move in the downswing, how we get our hips firing and where we want the club to come from. Well, this is gonna be everything you need to know in this video. So today's question comes from Jim Miller. As you know, this channel is powered by you, the viewers. Your requests get us to make some tips to help you improve. So he said, I live in Chicago. All winter I've subscribed to many channels and watched hundreds of videos. My lasting issue is hips stalling at impact. When I do these drills and concentrate, everything feels discombobulated. I love that word. Um, if there's any other coach that can help, you are the one that can make it easy. Okay, here we go. Jim, let's help you, but also let's help you watch him right now. We can definitely get a little bit lost, can't we? On everything that we need to know in this downswing. So I'm just gonna run through, if you come down the line first, and we're just gonna go through and show you the overall motion, then I'm gonna talk you through how. So we want a motion that starts down like this. Really see my right elbow come on the side of my body. Rotate the hips more open than the shoulders through in posture. Now, many of us stand up, or if you like, Jim, these hips are stalling. So first things first, I've set this up like this. I put my six iron down here, which would extend all the way down to my target line. Say this was target, my blue alignment stick. I've then put my six iron on a little bit of a, an angle as well here. So just sort of laying it slightly open. It doesn't have to be too perfect, it's just making sure that it's pointing a little bit left of where we place that alignment stick. And you can literally set this up down at the range. Next point, grab your golf club and preferably driver. Get it set up like this. So you can see my club face is square there. It's not closed, it's not open, it's this. So the first stage is get the body moving. So address that golf ball and I sometimes just put my right hand down in front of me just to get that feeling of getting in golf posture because when you're not gripping something or got the golf club down to the ground, it can feel a bit odd and weird depending on where we're stood. So what I want you to feel here, follow these checkpoints. This is a great checklist. So first up body, turn to the top. So what I want you to feel first is that your hip line is gonna match your target line, boom. Look how my chest isn't matching that yet. I'm gonna rotate as I come down. What I want to feel at pre-impact is that my hips are open to target, but my shoulders are starting to square up the target line. As I strike it away, my shoulders are slightly opening and my hips are opening too. So it's all about you learning that correct sequence. Have a look at this from the face on perspective. You look way more powerful when you do this. You look way more dynamic and don't let that scare you by the way, because I think everybody of all ages can actually improve doing this. So as best as you can, into goal posture. First things first, hips turn first, shoulders then come, square it up, square it up with a golf club and through. Now, if I told you in its simple terms, imagine you have to hit the golf ball off a tee peg around this height, but your golf club is across your chest. Well, you wouldn't do this, would you? You would do that. And that's simply how your body has to move. So from the down the line perspective, you're gonna see a slow-mo right now of me doing this. Now, as I'm doing this, you'll see how much posture I'm in. I'm not standing up because if I'm gonna hit a tee peg that's roughly about two feet off the ground with a golf ball on it, I would have to move in posture like this. Okay, that's the first stage. The next stage is now, let's introduce the arms, let's introduce the body, and we're gonna do it from this way. It's gonna be interesting, this. Now, very often we don't record the swing from behind. So what I want you to pay close attention to here is, and you get a real instinct to what's happening here, is my right elbow, and my body sequence are moving. This is how I want the body to look and how I want the body to feel. I want you to be at this point at last parallel where you can let everything go because that's where we need to be. So one more time and then we're gonna go from the face on perspective. Just watch this first movement. I'm following the same steps as before but I'm bringing my arms down. I'm letting the club fall into this space, down, okay? That's how I want us to be. So let's now jump to this face on perspective and really dive into the step-by-step -step guide. So how I learned as a kid was literally looking at a set of screenshots of Ben Hogan, Adam Scott, Rory McIlroy, literally frame by frame. 
Um, I'd like to say I'm showing my age, but some of you may be a little bit older than me. But what I want you to treat this as is like a how I use those screenshots. So you've got the first bit of the body, the next bit is the body and the arms. So we're looking for, this is our first move, this is our impact move, this is our follow through, and this is our finishing position. Let me show you that again. We'd have one up to the top, move one. Hands onto right thigh, look at this sort of triangle, my right elbow position. Two, square it into impact. Three, the follow through with some extension. Four, full release and onto the shoulder. I think just look at these screenshots again on the side of the screen. One, two, maybe even pause it right now. Three, four, how easy is this? Like, honestly, I'm a big, big believer in visual stuff. Try and copy this and emulate this in your practice session. Follow the stage one of how the body's moving. Look at stage two now of what I'm saying right now. It's a big, 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 like sort of, I guess it's mad, isn't it? We all want to learn with YouTube. Like we all look for the most complex answers and the most technical advice. Well, how about just copying these freeze frames to the best of your ability? Be a bit more visual because that's what we're trying to do. Honestly, if you move in posture, you rotate more in the correct sequence, it won't feel discombobulated, it will feel quite nice and natural to that point of last parallel where we're here and we can move it all the way through.